what they call it. Yeah. First down here. Fields has some time. Pocket breaks down. And down he goes. And that is F.A. Fields. That's knocked in the air. And the commanders come down with it. They do. So deflected up into the air. And a pickoff at the five-yard line. And that's Jonathan Allen who comes down with the interception. They wanted to pass on. One of them, and turned out to be a Fields run for a first down. Fields chased, spins, cannot get away, cannot get away. Montez Sweat chasing him down. Right there. <laughs> I mean, he's a, by the way, he is a big man, 6'5, 238 pounds. Mm -hmm. Unloaded. Robinson. And he will get into the end zone for a touchdown. So two months ago, the kid is wondering, can he play again after he was shot twice in a carjacking attempt? And here he is in Soldier Field taking it into the end zone. St. Juice covering on the play. So if he, if he holds on to it there, he's across the goal line. He's in. But he doesn't. He gets control outside of the goal line. You can't be any closer than that. Yeah, and, and I'm really curious, and it doesn't matter, but the left elbow comes down out of bounds right there. The broadcast mentioned Dan Snyder and said what the league would love is for him to sell the team. He's become a major problem around the league, obviously. That was his quote during the broadcast. Okay. So I'm wondering, I know obviously you didn't hear that because you're coaching. Right. How, how throughout today, how did you hear that news? Did it affect you? Uh, no, because the truth of the matter is it's not important to me. Okay, what's important to me are the guys in the room, and that's something I've been trying to establish. You know, I'm, I'm trying to get beyond all this stuff that's on the outside that's noise as far as I'm concerned. What I'm focusing on is the development of this football team. There's a group of young men in there that deserve better, okay, in terms of they, they should be acknowledged for what they've done, what they're doing. I don't want to get talking about something that I can't control anyways. I, I have no input. I have, I have nothing to do with that. What I want to do is everything in that room. And that's what I wish we could just stay focused on. And it's difficult. It's hard. But for whatever reason, we're going to stick to what's interesting, and that's playing football for our guys. Ron, you sound more fired up about You've given similar answers in the past about this, but you seem more fired up now. Is it just something about the circumstances? No, what's important is these guys, okay? For the last couple of weeks, honestly, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to speak my mind for a second. For Honestly, uh, it's been hard. It really has. You lose four games in a row, and everybody wants to get you, you know, just get on you. And they've played their asses off. They have. They've played their asses off for everybody. They come out, and they show up. They work hard, all right? They don't complain, okay? They hear all this stuff, and they got to deal with it. I get that, and I respect them for that because they're resilient. They come back. Everybody keeps wanting to say, I didn't want anything to do with Carson. Well, bullshit. I'm the fucking guy that pulled out the sheets of paper, that looked at the analytics, that watched the tape in the fricking when we were at Indianapolis, okay? And that's what pisses me off, because the young man doesn't deserve to have that all the time. 